Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We are in our brand new base today. Spent all of last uh, episode building it, and I think it, it's turned out pretty nice. It's still pretty barren, fairly empty. Um, there's some furniture that I think we can probably build at some point, but for right now, there is something that I've been meaning to do for a while, and I, I think it's just time. So today, we're gonna go get a dog. I, I think it's time. We have monsters on the server now, we've got all kinds of stuff running around, and I, I really want some protection. So yeah, I've got all my gear, but I'm not the best fighter, and quite frankly, I would like somebody to help me gather like materials, especially for like Endermen, because we're going to need pearls. So today, we're going to go get those. So first things first. You would think that the first thing to go get a, getting a dog is for me to go grab some bones, and for us to just dip out, find a forest somewhere, and to go find a dog, and then go tame the dog, and then call it th call it good. But that's the thing, is that we've got doggy talents next on this server, and so we're gonna try and use those. Well, in order to get a doggy talents next dog, you need a training bone, which I've got right here. So if we look at it, it's going to be a string, a bone, some gunpowder, which thankfully we have now, sugar, and a rice bowl. Now this is not the rice bowl that you get with uh, Farmer's Delight, which I keep wanting to call Botanica, but that's a completely unrelated mob that, or mod that we don't have. Um, this is specifically the rice that we get from Doggy Towns next, and we have been farming it this whole time. <laughs> It's been one of the two rice items that we get. So it's going to be these seeds right here, these rice grains. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can grind this. We can either use a grindstone to dehusk the rice, or what we can do is make a mill. And I want to make the mill because grindstones are cool, but I'd like to have some kind of more automatic process. So in order to get the mill that we need, let's go ahead, get rid of this. So we're looking for specifically this mill, not the mill stone from Create, but this one right here. So we're just going to need some logs, some fences, which I have plenty of, a cobblestone slab, and patty rice. Now, I need to go upstairs and get the patty rice, but everything else we should have, um, except for, I think, the slab. And thankfully, we've got so much cobblestone, it don't matter. <laughs> so let's go ahead, grab that out real quick. We can just make a stack. So that'll be part one, and then let's go upstairs and let's go grab our patty rice. Now, unfortunately, we're it. I think we're having a gale of some kind, and it's it's pretty dark out. But that's okay. We won't need to be up here for very long. Uh, the cherry trees really have added a lot to this island. It looks a lot better now that we've got them. <laughs> There's a, I love the cherry trees. They're, they're, I think they're one of my favorite trees in the game so far, if not my absolute favorite. I have fallen in love. So we've got our four patty rice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn some of these back into seeds just so that way we can replant. And then I want to make sure to keep as many as we have so that way you can see what we're going to do with the mill because it's, it's pretty cool. I've been playing around with it um, in the background and it, it's, it's a it's a unitasker, so Alton Brown would be, you know, upset, but it's okay. I think it's it's a pretty neat item. Back upstairs we go. And eventually I do want to get this replaced with an elevator, but that's not going to be today. Uh, there's, there's so much technical stuff that requires mining, and I need to do all of that off screen first, and I'm just not ready to do it. So we'll go ahead and use these. Let's go ahead and grab out our rice mill pattern, and we should have everything. So we're just gonna pull this and it gives us our rice mill. So with ax in hand, we'll go back upstairs. And I think just right over here is probably gonna be just fine. And I've had the best success planting this thing like facing towards me. Are we gonna have enough room? Uh, let's Let's come this way. So I think like right here. There we go. And this should just automatically start turning. So now when we come into this, what we're going to do is we're going to take our rice. Let me go ahead and grind that. So patty rice into rice grains, which we could just like 
use our bone meal and just grow a whole bunch of grass and then pull the rice from that as well. That works just as well. Um, but now this is going to take our rice grains, dehusk them, and it's gonna give us uncooked rice. So let's go ahead and take these. We'll head back downstairs. And now let's go back to our training bone. So we need bone, gunpowder, string, and sugar. Sugar might be upstairs. Hopefully I, I kept some of the, the reeds on me. Let's see here, here's some string, bone, gunpowder, right? Now, I know that I've killed creepers. I don't know where I put my gunpowder. That's, that's a question. Hopefully in here. Mm, Cause otherwise we're gonna have to go out and play a very dangerous game. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we've got some gunpowder here and we've got some sugar cane right here. So hopefully this should be everything that we need in order to make these training bones. Uh, looks like we just need the rice bowl. Okay, so how do we make this? It's gonna be rice in, it's going to be uncooked rice in bowl, which we make just like this. So it looks like we need five. We have six, good enough. We're gonna need plenty of bowls for a lot of our other recipes anyway, so I don't mind making extras. Looks like we won't need to worry about that. And let's throw this in our furnace. And now that's all cooked, but of course we've got a little bit of the fire going. So let's go ahead and just smelt some of the ore that we have laying around so that we were not completely wasting fuel. Won't need it right now. But with this cooked rice in a bowl, this should now, yes. And this gives us three training bones, which I think is quite generous. Oh, and we got our bowl back. That's lovely. So now that we have our training bone, it is time for us to go out into the wilderness and go find a dog. Now, thankfully I've done a little bit of scouting and it's, ah, oh, it's beautiful out here. Lovely. I was worried that it was still gonna be like nasty. So let's go ahead, hop on our boat and I have seen them just north of us, so hopefully we won't need to travel too far. So this looks quite promising. Hopefully we can find them. This might take a little bit of wandering, I don't know. And definitely a lot of falling in holes. I'm very good at that. So let's see here. How long? Oh! Found a fox. There's another one. Sadly, we can't tame the foxes. I don't I don't have a mod to do that. That was my first pick, because you know we're playing Volcom and Craft. Might as well have a fox, but it might be a little bit weird if there's a two-legged fox who's like taming and training a four-legged fox. It just uh, that, that feels like a, a criticism that people have a love of a lot of children's media. So probably won't do that. Um However, there is, oh, this is, this is closer to where I saw them. There is a lot of customization for the Doggy Talents Next Dogs. I thought it was just that you get, you get the big white normal looking dog, but apparently not. So that is one of the things I'm really excited to show off once we actually find one, whenever that happens. And again, I saw them up here, so hopefully we won't be searching much longer. There we go. Hi, Popo. Hello. No, don't run away. Yes. Okay. All right. So we've got a dog. So I don't have a name tag for him, unfortunately. There might be a way to name him in the mod. There we go. Here. Yeah. I'm going to have you sit down. So I like these guys. They're really well animated. And if we go into here, we can see he's got his name dog, which I think we can just change with a name tag. 
Um, let me see this three side bar. Oh, no, we can do it right here. New name. So I am going to name him. I have a theory about what I'm going to name him. But first, before we do that. Um, oh, you're so precious. Oh, goodness. Um, so looking through here, um, this is a whole bunch of different settings that you can use for them. So we've got friendly fire. This means can he attack you? Um, obey others. So like if me and Rick were in a party um, and we were off exploring, would my dog obey Rick? Um, and right now I've got it set to false. I think that's probably the easiest. Regards team players. No idea. Probably related. Force it. Don't know. Um, there's a lot of these things where I don't know exactly what they mean, but hide armor and auto mount will make more sense later on. Um, and then low health st strategy, we're going to have stick to owner. So right now, I think that that's probably for the best. Until we get him set up in a bed, this is going to be very important. So, um, and then combat return strategy. So when enemy, when fighting enemies, this dog will return to you as if it, it's being too far away. Yeah, that works for me. And doggy artifacts, which I don't know anything about that yet. So let's go ahead and go back. Um, these are right here i've got them set to docile right now you won't get into any fights and they're considered more playful in this mode so there's a ton of these different modes so wandering aggressive um so he'll attempt to attack anything that tries to hurt me so this is the same as like vanilla and then there's berserker which uh, dog follows you and automatically attacks nearby enemies so it's it's a bit more aggressive and then this one which is berserker minor basically will do the same thing but it will ignore things like piglins and Ennermen, which is nice um so you you don't have to worry about triggering friendly fire tactical um Basically, if we had a whistle, which we don't, uh, then this would matter more for us. Patrol, uh, same as wandering, but your dog automatically attacks nearby enemies. So if we had like a ranch, like a big old ranch that I wanted him to patrol, or if I ever want to set him to just patrol our island, this would be a great setting for that. Somewhere enclosed where he can't like wander off to. Um, and then guard, he will follow us very closely. And it is really close. It's like too close. Um... So yeah, there's all these different modes, which is really cool. But for right now, I think I'm going to have him stick to docile. He's got 40 health, he's got 60 hunger, and we do need to make sure to feed him. Um, not just when he gets low on health, but just in general. And then this right here is the talents. So it's called Do Doggy Talents Next, so you know that we have to have talents. Before we get into that, though, I think the most important thing is how are we going to get him home because i don't know and the sun is setting and i don't know if rick left the monsters turned on so we're gonna find out um come follow me here you go and hopefully i have an idea for a name in mind and i will show you the dumb reason why but uh we'll we'll see we'll see Let's make sure that we actually have a dog to get home before we start thinking about things like names and talents and all that kind of stuff. Is he following along? There he is. I know he teleports. Are you gonna- are you gonna come with me? Mm, hopefully he'll transfer onto this landmass once I land. There he is. Come on, you can do it. So you can already tell he's not a very good swimmer. There he goes, and he, he just shook himself off. Which there's a mechanic that you can tie to that. So let's see if I can get him to get on the boat with me. I know that there's a way to lasso livestock and to get them on the boats, but unfortunately I don't- I don't have a lasso. Hmm. Okay, this is gonna be a little uncomfortable, I don't like it, but I think I'm going to see whether or not I can teleport him to our island. 
and then that way, at the very least, we can make a lasso once we get home and test it that way. And if he doesn't teleport, he doesn't teleport. And hopefully he doesn't die. Because I don't know how well he can swim. Mm hmm. I don't see him. I don't see him in the water either. This doesn't bode well. See, I tested everything else. I just forgot to test this. Well, I guess we'll find out. Um, hopefully he just stayed on land. And if that's the case, then all we need to do is just make a lasso, which is not hard. So let's go ahead and get our cacti. And let's go ahead and go through the process of making a new lasso. And I may have some downstairs, come to think of it. But just in case I don't, let's go ahead and get some wheat so that way we can make the dough. Here we go. We got some leads. All right. So once again, he's still not teleported to my location. So we are going to go back and we're going to keep an eye out on the way, make sure that he didn't teleport into the water. That would be my, my big concern right now. And if he didn't, then hopefully he's back on that landmass and we can just use the lasso to get him into the boat. Because like I said, I know there's a way. And in theory, since he's operating on the same dog source code, he should be able to, to just hop in. Oh good, he stayed right here. What a good boy. Okay, so let's try... Oh. Yep, so it looks like Rick Talk did leave the monsters on. And we've got them set to, to, to docile, so I didn't imagine that we were going to get anything, but, you know, it was worth a shot. Now it looks like I can't lasso him. Oh, and he spun around, tired himself out. Okay. Hmm. Well, maybe part of the problem is that he was sitting. I wonder if I can get him, like, onto the boat by changing him to guard. And are you a him? Uh, you are. Okay, good. I want to make sure I'm not, like, misgendering the dog. Can you hop on? Kinda. Yeah, kinda. Okay, sit down. There we go. Uh, will you... You're not gonna... <laughs> okay. Alright, that was a nice try. Okay. Well, the best I can do is make sure that he's still on follow and we'll just find out how this works. He's not going to come with us. Okay. Let's try something new. And by that I mean old. Maybe he doesn't like the modded ships, but he will get into like one of the old boats.
No, this doesn't seem to work any better either. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to hop up on dry land. And I think we're going to go... Oh, did you, did you figure it out? No, that was a problem. Okay. I'm going to go check the wiki. I think that's probably for the best. Okay. So I have good news and I've got bad news. The bad news is that the dog really can't like get in the boat. I, I've tried to figure out how there's not a lot of information on this mod, unfortunately. But what we do have is if we go to their talents, there are several, a, a lot, there's like four pages of talents. And in here we have one, which I believe should be swimmer dog. Here it is. Allows your dog to dive and swim properly and breathe underwater for longer. Once mastered, your dog will be able to breathe underwater indefinitely and allow the rider, if you have wolf mount, to see better underwater. So I think if we train this up a little bit, right now we've got 15 points of training and I think there's a way to increase that. So I think if we just go ahead and give him a couple of levels, and I mean, he's gonna need it. We live on an island. So I think this way he should be able to swim long enough for us to be able to get home. Uh, so I guess I should probably bring this stuff with me, shouldn't I? Now I'm pretty sure that he will follow me in the cherry boat. Yes, he will. Okay, so I think we're gonna take the cherry boat home, drop the dog off at the house, and then after that, we will come back and we will get our big boat. Hey, come on. There you go. Oh, okay. That was <laughs> too too complicated. Too complicated. Um I think yeah, if if we just leave him to sit, he'll he'll just stay here. Um I am not used to using the old boats. Oh my goodness. They've got so much drift. Ah, oh, much better. Okay. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and just park our boat right in here. I think this is this has been one of the better places for it. And back to our dog. Hi, bud. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> he is a little spooky with the torchlight. Okay, so now now that we're finally safe, let's talk about this. So I already talked about the one talent. Uh, basically just lets us, you know, make sure that he can get places and back again. But there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff in here. Um, so bed finder uh, basically means that you can put the dog on your head uh, by right cl right clicking the dog with a bone in your hand, which is neat. Um, if I had a bone, that, that, well, I don't know if it's the same kind of bone. This might be the, the best way to transport him. Um, We'll find out. We'll find out. Like I said, I'm still very new to this. So, looks like I got nine points left. I expected to have more, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, with Bed Finder, he will find, he will find beds, which is neat. Um, probably useful for, like, also finding villages, because there's a lot of bed density there. But it's not really useful for us. Black Belt uh, increases critical, ha uh, critical rate by half. Uh, a heart per level plus an additional heart upon mastery so this makes him better co uh, combat this one makes it so that way he can absorb spell and potion effects without actually taking any damage and this is really useful if like you live in a swamp and you're constantly fighting witches but it's not really our thing creeper sweeper is really cool so he lets you sniff out creepers in the area and will growl to warn us. Um, the other thing he will do is eventually we can get him to a point where he will just instantly kill creepers, which is really cool. Um, doggy armor, so he can wear armor, which is nice. Dash makes him uh, move a little bit faster, I believe. So all kinds of stuff, um, including fire drill. So if he catches himself on fire, um, instead of having to run into the water, he will just roll around, which is cool. Um, there's really only one level of it, and the cost is three. Hellhound makes it so that way he can swim in fire. So, like, if we're going to be doing a lot of, like, nether stuff, then we're going to move him, like, 
a hellhound would be really useful for that. And then another one that's really neat is all the way over here, wolf mount. So this lets us ride our papa dog. But for now, I think instead of focusing on the talents, let's go ahead and talk about style. So he's wearing a bright red collar. We can actually remove this. Um, and if we do that, we get recipes for all the different collars, which is cool. Um, there's tons of customization in here to make them look crazy. But what's also useful is that, and I'm gonna actually stand him up for this um, since he's in guard mode. There you go. So there are a ton of different skins that we can we can use. So instead of using the classic, we can have um, Okami Am Amaterasu. So I know that was from a, a game. And then there's a whole bunch of these. This one's really cool, this kind of stone dog looking one. This one's very over the top and I like it. But there's all, all of these. And then the farther you go in, the farther you get into like more normal dogs very briefly. So, looks like different Japanese breeds. This one's really cute. Uh, this <laughs> it reminds me of like a, like a My Little Pony dog. Um, but then this. Okay. So you can have Arcanine. <laughs> and y'all, I gotta show you. It's so good. Look at him. He's so good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn him to... to docile there we go but look at him we can have our own pet arcanine i'm just i'm so enthused about it so but there's there's like a ton of these um so if we don't if we don't want arcanine which i kind of do i'm not gonna lie we have rock rough houndstone for the houndstone fans um he's not one of my favorites but i know he's got a lot of love and then couple of classical ones a gray wolf which i think looks really good if like you want a vanilla one but you don't want um like the the plain white dog couple of anime ones saint bernard german shepherd legacy and modern and then you've also got this german shepherd which is like really <laughs> nicely like shaped and everything um just tons of these. Got Dobermans, which I, I love Dobermans. I think they're very sweet. You know, Puchita. <laughs> Just casually. Yeah, Puchita. You have a Borzoi. And, uh, okay, so there's this Borzoi, which I'm gonna show you. So you can have insane long nose dog, right? The collar doesn't really fit on this model. I mean, he's goofy looking, but like all boys are. are. But, but there's an even better Borzoi all the way at the end. It's the long Borzoi. And his nose goes into infinity. <laughs> it just, it just keeps going. It's fantastic. So obviously we're not using that, but it's so good. You can have Bolt if you want to. And I think the collar goes to his legs, which is interesting. Like, oh yeah, you can have um, you can have zero scraps and Sparky, and then if you if you decide that you don't actually want a dog, what you actually wanted was an otter this entire time. You can have an otter. Which, considering that we live on an island, would be super cute. Like, I almost want to get a second dog and then have a pet otter, and then have a pet dog. But for now, I think, I think he's going to be an Arcanine just because like, I think that might be my favorite after looking through all of these. And like I said, don't get me wrong. They're all very good. Um, 
like there's all kinds of different classic styles and and they look really nice but like if we're gonna go ham let's go ham So the only thing is that, uh, oh, <sighs> apply, there we go. So the only thing is that the, the model is not always compatible with everything that you can put on them. So like he could have a collar, but there there'd be no point. It wouldn't show up on on this particular model. So we're we're not even gonna bother with it. But anyway, so we've got our Arcanine, and I figure we will continue to train him. Um. So how how do you continue to train these guys, right? So there are a bunch of treats. Um. So we've got the training treat. We've got the super treat the master treat, the kami treat, which I don't know what that does, treat bag, a uh, scent treat, which, okay, so there's, there's a talent which allows your dog to, like, track ores underground, and so this scent treat is used for that, um, and then there's drill versions of, of all the retrievables. So the super treat, you make a whole bunch of training treats with the golden apple, and then you take all of those and you apply a diamond to them and then you get a master treat. And then I think the Kami treat is like, yeah, it's like the best treat you can give them, but there is a point where it's too powerful for them. So I think for now, I think we just give him a training treat and I think it levels him up. So let's see here, let's go into talents and I think he should have like nine. Um, yeah, he's got nine. So let's try giving him another one of our training treats. Yeah, and he levels up. And then if we go into talents again, yeah, and now he's got uh, 10 points. So this does give them like a little bit of a point boost and I imagine for each extra one you get more points. So you could in theory have a dog that can do everything, which is really cool. So before we get roped into that, um, and I'll probably like do it off screen and then I'll show you what we get. There are a few other accessories that we need to make in order to make him feel at home. So one of them is going to be the dog bed. And this is what's going to actually make our dog like functionally immortal, not literally immortal. And he probably should follow us. So let me go grab him again. Oh, and we didn't name him. Okay, so I mentioned earlier, I had an idea for a name. It's a dumb name. I'm going to name him Articuno. Because one of my favorite things to do in Pokemon back in like Sun and Moon was I would breed up like a ton of Growlithes just because I liked Growlithe. And then I would I would name them random Pokemon names. And for whatever reason, I decided that Articuno was my favorite of all the Growlithe I'd bred. And he was like mine. So anyway, I figured I'd bring him with me into Minecraft. <laughs> and the worst, the, okay, so the worst part was that I would trade them on the GTS. So if you got a Growlithe in the Sun and Moon era with a random Pokemon name that was not Growlithe, uh, it might have been me. What I didn't realize is that if you do that, you can't use them in Pokemon tournaments. And I didn't mean to troll people like that. Like, that was not my goal. And granted, like, they weren't competitively viable Growlithes anyway, so I don't feel too bad about it. But yeah, if you, if you decide to, like, breed a whole bunch of random Pokemon and, like, do some kind of prank name, make sure that they're not competitively viable unless you want to be that guy you know so anyways whole reason why we are down here is to go ahead and make a dog bed so go ahead and grab the recipe for that yeah here we go dog bed 
So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take two wool of our choice and two plan or uh, this configuration of planks of our choice, and it will give us a dog bed that's made out of those. And there are like hundreds of these. Like it's highly customizable. So any wool we use is gonna be appropriate, so long as I remember to grab wool, which uh, I've got the one pink wool. And uh, did I grab anything else? I don't think I did. Um, so thankfully we've got alliums, so let's just go ahead and make some out of our string. Hmm, how is that not working? There we go. And, uh, you know, I think magenta on pink is going to be kind of insane looking. So let's not do that. Let's get something a little bit better. Jungle log is going to be very rich. Um, apple just turns into, like, oak. You know what? Let's do birch. And where do we want to put your bed? I think I'm like right here would probably be really cute. So uh, from the text block, as you can kind of see, um, sneak right click with a dog bed with both hands empty. Alternatively, right click with a bone in hand. The nearest standing dog will come and make the bed their own. If the unthinkable happens and they die, right click on the bed to revive them. So we're gonna do that. There we go, and Articuno is in his dog bed. So hopefully, yeah. And I don't know what this D16M means. Um, oh, health uh, and food, okay. So he's got 16 food right now, so he's probably getting hungry. So thankfully, you can basically feed them all of the same stuff that you could feed uh, a regular dog, so like the steak, um, but he'll also eat egg sandwiches. And now he'll heal, which is really cool. Oh, and he's taking himself on a journey. I don't know where. Uh, Articuno, come back down. There you go. Yeah, see, and now he's at hunger 75. So he should be good for a little while. Um, and then I think if we just right click, bed is owned by Articuno. Uh, let's not place the boat. Thank you. And now he'll just sit, which is great. Ah. <sighs> You know, this place really feels like it needs, like, a fire pit. Like, I feel like I should have, like, a fire or something like that going through here. And then that way I can have, like, the dog bed next to it and he can warm himself up. Because, I mean, he is a fire type Pokemon. Feels like he needs it. So maybe that'll be an addition we make. But yeah, so anyway. Um, <laughs> nice and simple. So I figure... Uh, I might as well show you. So this is not the only food that we have. Um, let's go ahead and clear this out and let's go look through Doggy Talents next. So you can kind of see, cause it's a huge mod. Like you wouldn't think so, but it's, it's big. Here we go. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of costumes. 
which are very cute. Some of them will show up on our Arcanine, but not all of them. Uh, I think the collars are not going to, but the hats and like the capes and the cloaks and stuff might. We can give them like crow wings and bat wings and flying capes. And I don't know that they have any like, I don't know if they work the same way as like Elytra, but for dogs, it would be cool. Um, broomstick, ceremonial garb. But in here, they've also got, you know, different toys and then food. So we've got our rice, um, koji, which <sighs> I don't know where you get koji from. Uh, but you can make it with uncooked rice, sugar, and then more koji, which again, not sure where that comes from. I don't, I've never seen it. Uh, soybeans, which I've yet to find in the overworld. Soybean pods. And then of course the uncooked rice, dried soybeans. And so all of these end up as ingredients that you can use for like miso paste to turn into miso soup. Uh, soy milk, tofu, not even going to try with that one. Um, and these all turn into different foods. So the egg sandwiches that I've been carrying around for a little while now are some of these. Um, they're part of the, the Doggy Talents Next mod, not Farmer's Delight, it turns out, which I thought that they, I thought the mm, same thing, um, but I guess not. Either that or maybe there's just something I'm missing, which is entirely possible. <sighs> so you can make a ton of different, like, this is not showing all of the food, but there is certainly more. Uh, yeah. And then you could also get the dog bath, which I'm not entirely sure what this is used for because they don't seem to get dirty, but there is a talent in there where your dog's fur basically absorbs a whole bunch of water. And then when he, you get set on fire, he comes over and shakes and like puts you out, which is really cute. And then the dog food bowl, which I think that we might actually make because it means I think that we can store food in it. And then when Arcanine gets hungry, we can just go ahead and put food in the bowl and he will he'll just feed himself which would be great especially if we like need to go on a trip and he can't come with us for whatever reason um now i don't think anything bad happens if his food drops to zero um but i i don't know you know now where did i put the iron i know that i smelted some we are and we've got our bowls that we already made I'm just gonna put this next to his bed yeah and then this gives us an inventory for us to be able to feed him so that is all I know about Doggy Talents Maxed. It's pretty neat. I'm I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah. So honestly, I think I'm going to call things there. Just keep this nice and short and simple. Um, not a very long episode, but I, I, I'm not too worried about it. We did what I wanted to do. And then the next thing that I want to do after this is we're going to go upstairs and we're going to go learn how to make wine, which is going to be a, a whole thing. <laughs> so... Uh, anyway, I hope this has been fun and enjoyable for you guys, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you next time.